Racing. Watch me burn and you shall receive. It's just an illusion chasing yesterday all off quickly. It's just an illusion. We'll burn them off and lead by two lengths. Marizano, the early trailer. As they find their order, it's just an illusion setting up a two and a half length lead over Watch Me Burn. Two lengths and you shall receive inside chasing yesterday. And a length and a half, Marizano. Half a mile to go. It's just an illusion leading with a wing on every hoof. By three lengths to Watch Me Burn. One length to chasing yesterday. Picking up around the outside of And You Shall Receive. And Marizano improving along the rail. About two and a half lengths covering the quartet, chasing the tearaway leader. It's just an illusion by two and a half lengths at the quarter pole. Chasing yesterday, moving to second. She's coming home powerfully at the top of the lane. Watch me burn, relegated to third and drifting a bit wide. Three sixteenths to go. It's just an illusion by a length from chasing yesterday. And three lengths to the other trio in a line. It's just an illusion being joined by chasing yesterday. It's just an illusion chasing yesterday, fighting out the Anokia. It's just an illusion ahead in front of chasing yesterday, chasing yesterday, getting to her, taking the lead and chasing yesterday. And Nick, it's just an illusion. Great race. Five lengths and you shall receive finishing third, then Marizano and watch me burn. The 50 cent early pick four, 145.25. And the 50 cent early pick five pays 689.80. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome back the Enokia Stakes winner for 2018, Chasing Yesterday, a chestnut daughter of Tappet and the Yankee gentleman mare, Little Princess Emma, making her a half-sister to triple crown winner, American Pharaoh. Chasing Yesterday, bred in Kentucky and raced by Summer Wind Equine. This is the fourth triumph in the Enokia Stakes for trainer Bob Baffert, winning jockey Drayden Van Dyke. The Enokia Stakes trophy presentation is made by Santa Anita Park Stakes Coordinator, Mr. Zachary Soto. I'm joined by Jane Lyons, the proud owner here of Chasing Yesterday. Before we get into the excitement of today, where did the name come from? Well, it's an old story now, but it's a name that I named, <clears throat> excuse me, I named her for my husband who passed away before she was born. And, um, and it fits, is she's, it's for him, she ran in his memory today. I think that's very fitting for her then, and she was obviously came home a stakes winner today. Tell me about your excitement coming down the stretch, because that was a great stretch duel. Uh, I think panic is a better word than excitement, because I just think, you've got to get there, you've got to get there. But that was a lovely filly she was racing against, so um, I'm very proud of her and uh, very excited and happy. And of course, the half-sister to American Fair we've all been talking about. Was there a little bit of pressure for you of owning and breeding this filly with such a prolific brother? Well, yes, and Chasing Yesterday ended up being a good name from that aspect as well, because uh, she'll always be chasing his history, uh, but she'll make her own, I hope. Oh, I'm very, very happy for you, and congratulations for the stakes win today. Thank you so very much. Chasing yesterday wasn't chasing anybody. She was in front at the Nokia. 